Life's about to get good. Hi friends! I'm so glad to be on here and doing this. My name is Alita Allen and I'm a Sapphire Ambassador with the best company in the whole wide world, Plexus. So I'm excited to be on here because we're sharing our top tips, things that have really helped us in our business, things that are going to get you to Maui this time next year. And so I thought, I'm just going to show y'all a, a part of my routine of really making sure I'm in a good headspace. So that's kind of going to be my um, focus today on this video is going to be on mental endurance, overcoming feeling overwhelmed, and really focusing on what's important. So we hear things all the time in Plexus about being consistent, and it's so true. So today, I just wanna share with you a little bit of my journey with mental endurance. So some of you already know my story, and um, I was widowed unexpectedly. I had four small kids. I still have, I still have four small children. Um, they're still little. <laughs> so it's crazy, I'm a single mom. Um, I'm also, my, my mom passed away six months after my husband, and then my dad just passed away six weeks ago. So it has been the craziest two years, bar none, of my entire, entire life. And yet, um, our business is just booming, our team is growing rapidly. It's such an exciting season in Plexus with so many new products and so much great energy coming from the field right now. I just, it's like... It just feels like you can just feel the success, right? So, but it doesn't come just kind of easy, right? We have to get to a place where we can endure life trials. And that's what Plexus to me and personal growth is. When I first heard about personal growth, I kind of made fun of it. I was like, I don't know. I mean, really, you just need to have a good attitude. But the truth is, is that hard is gonna happen. It's gonna happen for all of us. We're gonna have hard days. And my heart may look different than your heart and your heart will look different than my heart. And it just depends on the day. But what I do know is that when I spend time thinking on things that are hard for me, that are um, not fruitful for me. So when I'm thinking about things, for example, like I'm a single mom, I've got my kids here, all these, you know, if I'm Zooming with people or I'm trying to connect with people, I'm on the phone and the kids are going crazy. I'm like, oh, I just can't do this. I'm a single mom. This is just not easy. You know, things should be easier for me. But when I realized that my thoughts are not who I am, they're not my personality, so even when I'm having a negative thought, I choose to let that stay there and make and kind of become part of my personality. So someone maybe who's a victim mentality or somebody who feels like life should just be easier. You're, you're holding on to those negative thoughts that are telling you that you deserve it easier, that it should not be this hard. And the truth is when you grab those thoughts captive and you replace it with something that's life-giving, like listening to amazing music that's going to pump you up that says you can do this, can you, I mean, man, the difference is astounding. You become a, a, a woman or a man of purpose, somebody with a mission who's not gonna give up at the slightest sign of trial. Finding those things that make you mentally strong is for me personally in my journey, the best thing I ever did. So I wanted to give you applicable tools that actually worked for me. And a few of those are, I took a huge whiteboard, I took tub tile, it's like a couple bucks at your home hardware store, and I nailed it to my wall. A bit extreme, yes, but extreme measures call for extreme 
whatever that saying is. I don't even know what that saying is, but you know what I'm saying. I nailed it to my wall and I wrote down some affirmations. I remember watching Sonia Dudley do a mindset um, course and I heard her say, you know, doing affirmations is so important. And that really came back to mind when I was really struggling with the trials in my life that I was going through. And so I put it up there and I wrote down, I am victorious. I am a warrior. I can do all things. I am capable. I am walking this out with grace so that my children can see. I am, I'm going to do the impossible. I am worth it. I'm worth it. I'm worth it. So when I was waking up and those were the first things that were coming into my mind, all of a sudden things started shifting from being really, really hard to feeling really, really possible. And there was a light at the end of the tunnel and there was hope and I could do this. And then I started seeing the fruit of that. And I'll tell you, that was the best feeling in the world. The beautiful thing about Plexus is that it combines personal growth while you're earning and getting that to that place of time freedom. Do not put personal growth on the back burner. Do not get stuck in a mindset that says this is too hard, that says you can't do it, that lets those people talking into your, into your life, speaking negative. Don't let that run you. When you keep telling yourself you're overwhelmed, you're going to be overwhelmed. I stopped saying, I can't handle this. I used to say that all the time. I just can't handle this. Too many, there's too many kids and there's only one of me. I can't handle this. And the truth is I can handle it. It was all just in my mindset. So I turn on some good music. I pump it up. I love listening to Leave a Legacy, too, from convention. I love listening to Shania Twain, Life's About to Get Good. Come on, come on. I mean, you got to pump yourself up. We're responsible to encourage ourselves. Don't be waiting for someone to come along and encourage you. I had nobody knocking on my bedroom door saying, come on, Alita, get up. Let's do this. Let's Zoom with people. Let's get connected. Let's do our IPAs. Come on, come on. Most of us don't have that. And you're, you're, you're putting your dreams aside if you're waiting for someone to come along to do that for you. I love that in the Bible, David says he encouraged himself in the Lord. He didn't have other people encouraging him. Encourage yourself. Learn to encourage yourself. Learn to be your biggest cheerleader. So what are you going to do to make that happen? I love doing affirmations of all kinds. My ring says brave, bam. My other ring says it is well with my soul. I have it everywhere. Self affirmations are huge for me because they remind me who I am and what I'm capable of. And if I could come through this screen and grab your sweet cheeks and say to you, you can do this. And if you haven't been encouraged in a long time, be encouraged, take heart. No matter what you've been through, no matter where your business is at, you can do this. No matter what you look like, no matter what your personality is like, no matter if you're outgoing, introverted, no matter if your family is on board or not, you can do this. In this season, you can do this. So my challenge is to just really plug in to your personal growth and into really setting some time aside to encourage yourself to fill your cup, to lift yourself up, to speak life to yourself. I cannot wait to see you all in Maui this time next year. We'll be floating the lazy river and seeing giant sea turtles in the ocean that totally terrifies me, but that's just me. I love you guys. Have an amazing, amazing, amazing month. Let's rock September out.